one thing that you've got to work out again just touching on what I spoke about before it definitely depends on the venue I think here today ground bait is definitely going to help because one we haven't fed anything on the pole line but even if we had have fed ground bait on the pole line I still feel like we would have had to feed some ground bait on our waggler line because it's literally like a flooded river colour and them skimmers F1's carp they definitely when there's colour in the lake they definitely want that little bit of ground bait, that little bit of that little bit of attraction. So, little tip when you're playing them is tr you'll see here. I try, I try not to lose it, but when I'm playing the fish on a waggle, I'm trying to use my wrist so my arm's not locked, not locked on the rod. So just try and use sort of your wrist action. They don't really fight very hard. And hopefully if we can net this one. So again, just gently turn my rod if I want to change the angle. But I'm trying to do it as much as I can off my wrist. And you'll find that, I don't want to tempt fate, but you'll find that you'll lose less fish this way. Especially when you're starting to use your F1 pellet hook. To be fair, it is a brilliant, um, brilliant strong hook. Now the last thing I want to touch on is you'll see the length of my landing net pole, the fact that I've got my extension on it. I normally fish with the two sections as they are, but whenever I'm fishing with a waggler rod, even though this is only 11 foot and I'm fishing quite shallow, it allows me to be able to net the fish a lot further out. And I would say it more comes into its own as well, that extension is when you're starting a fish with a 12 or even a 13 foot rod. When you're used to only fishing little short rods, having a short land in there is lovely because everything comes up there close to you. But when you're fishing your 12, your 13 foot rod, even with me 11 foot rod, I always put that extension on because I say when the waggler's right, it's those, they sit past the pole line. But that is a lovely fish. That's what I would call a proper Gold Valley Gold Valley skimmer, as much as I get told off for them. But these ones at gold, that's the only bites you get. Everything's that big. And they're coming, they're loiter near the ground bait. But what I was saying, it's the conditions. So it's hooked lovely. Lovely, lovely skimmer. I slide him in the net. But yeah, on them rock hard days, for those that had obviously uh, been with us for a, quite a while. I'm sure it was about 10, 109, I want to say, peg. And I'd been going to Woodlands Thursk and that was the first time that I fished this method there. And that day it was bright and flat, sunny, a two day event. And I ended up winning the match with 40, six pound I think, caught one little carp on a method and that day it was like this, I could fish a full 16 metres and use the lightest float that I've got and I never had a bite on the pole and it never surprised me to be honest knowing what I know now but fishing this after I'm going to say two and a bit hours into the match, maybe two and a half hours into the match, I had a bite, just loose feeding live maggots and caught probably, I don't know that day, maybe 20 fish and I caught everything sort of two three meters past where I'd fed my pole line.